<laughs> YouTube family, the Maverick, in this space one more time. And we are say bless up to all of the people who subscribe already. And we are implore those viewers who don't subscribe yet, do the simple thing, do the right thing. Help, keep, keep motivating and incentivize the content of a provide the content that we are provide and even more content as well. All right. So, me I talk today as a as a fan of reggae and dancehall music. Me I talk as a maverick. Just I talk as a fan of reggae and dancehall music. <laughs> See, another reggae Grammy goes to another Marley. This time it's Julian Marley. I, I know nothing at all about the album. I can't sing you one song where Julian Marley sing. I don't know how impactful this particular album has been. So, me don't listen to the album neither. Me don't know the album. Me don't know the music for the album. I have no idea what the album sounds like. But, me can tell you this. What me I say? Me don't need to listen to the album for say, for say. Boom. Me go listen to the album. Me don't come and listen to the album and come with a different perspective totally. But, but the point I make to you is the general farce that the reggae Grammy has become. Um, me think half of the time when the reggae Grammy has been presented, there, there has been controversy over who get the reggae Grammy. And we just think, all right, the Grammy process in and of itself is what it is, you know. And it is what it is for all of the categories at the Grammy Awards. But me think of all the awards that are, are given on the Grammy stage. The reggae Grammy are probably the most farcical one. All right. As lovers of music and as lovers of, as me say, reggae and dancehall, you know, you know, so me, you notice me not separate them. Me say reggae and dancehall fan. And 99% of the time, when the reggae Grammy award go out, no, I'm only say 99%, but most of the time, the album will get the award. We don't know. Me don't know the, me don't know the, <laughs> me don't know the album. Me don't know the music. Me don't know the album. It's after the award go out, we have to go research and, and listen to the album. There's something most inherently wrong with that. If, if we are get a reggae Grammy, Grammy are the highest award for musical achievements, you know, whatever genre. An, an ardent reggae, I mean, I don't know me alone, you know. Ardent reggae fans out there. First time they might hear about some of them albums, yeah. sometimes the first time they might hear about some of them artists, yeah. How when them get the Grammy? What can go so? Me think it lack legitimacy. And we know the political process, we know their knowings, we know their nomination, we know who know who, and who know who. And we, we don't know, but we just think it's not credible. We just think the reggae Grammy, it's not credible. We don't hear any outcry over the general awards we announce in the Grammy, you know, for the other genre, them, as we say, you know. We don't hear the best pop album, we don't hear the best new, all of the rest of major awards, them. We don't see and read and hear about no major outcry. I mean, we don't hear all kind about the Grammy Awards again, you know, for Jamaica and Grammy, the reggae Grammy again, you know. You know why? Because to the people of business, people just see it for what it is. It's a kind of farcical thing where some people who connected to the industry, most of the time we're connected to the Mali legacy. It could be like them just control or something and feed them and them interchange it amongst the family members every now and then. They pop one outside to some other major players in the industry for try and probably align little credibility to the award. It's a big farcical something. Me can be a reggae fan and a dancehall fan. And half of the Grammy Award them with the reggae Grammy guilt. And the first me I hear about the song them, first me I hear about the artist, eh? first me I hear about the album. I'm looking here as me say, I could be wrong, you know. And when me wrong, me go come and say me wrong. When me do my research, I don't know if this, this, this Colors of Blue, Colors of Royal Blue album by, by, when me again, Mali. <laughs> See? I don't know if the colors of Royal Blue album, you know, is a big seller. We are selling the world internationally, you know. Maybe, maybe our, our fault and we underexposed to what is happening out in the wider reggae market and the wider musical world. And Julian Marley is this big superstar in some corners of the world where we don't know. But me figure, say, if that was the case, it would have at least seat back in our space and would have been aware of it. But this thing is a joke. Year after year, the reggae Grammy is a joke. I mean, think reggae fans are really busy with it again. I mean, feel something when something reach that stage. Eh? 
it has lost the kind of credibility we make it relevant. I mean, you can't tell a man, you know, a man win him Grammy, a man will say, yes, me win my Grammy, you know, whatever, I'm up the resume, you know. But me think a big thing about humans and them achievement have to do with the legitimacy of it and what. what, the, what especially in a, something like music and the creative industries. You want to feel legitimate. You want the people out there who consume your art to be to, to, to genuinely feel say, you deserve whatever accolades you get. This coming like me decide to me I go give myself an award. I mean no business what people feel about it. It's an award that you get, you know. It's not a private thing where you do and you, 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 you pat yourself on the shoulder feet, you know. This is a musical award where you, you, you compile an album and you release an album and you put that in the market for the public consumption, you know. Well, last. Well, we last we hear a Julian Marley song on the radio in Jamaica. Well, last we hear a Julian Marley song in a party in a Jamaica. Well, last we hear a Julian Marley song in a dance hall in a Jamaica. Well, last we see Julian Marley on one of them big marquee stage show in a Jamaica. Yet still, a him now of the the Grammy album. Me don't know, sir. Me don't know people. Me don't. This me I indulge. My viewers and my subscribers for check in. And don't come with a bias now. Because you yeah, yeah, have some people who probably know the Mali them and know the family, Mali family. I go running and say, hey, stop bad mind the man. <laughs> See, that's how me, how me treat that. Talk to me about the legitimacy where you think. You, you hear my take on it. We don't know the music. We don't know the album. Me, be, me know Julian Mali as a Mali son. The one we live in England. And so me know Julian Mali, you know. Because I saw you tell me you know the Mali family, them, you know. You know, Sidella from, yeah, the, 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 the football thing with the reggae girls. You know, Ziggy as the big son. You know, Stephen as the little creative one where we do some good work and some good project. You know, Junior Gang. Junior Gang and probably the most legitimate of the artists of the family. You know, the other one where they there with Lauren Hill. And you know, me know Julian as the one we live in England. <laughs> so, and so we know the Mali family, them, you know. Yeah, I mean, I say, another Mali win the Grammy, yeah, 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 yeah and I'm going about your business. Me feel a part of the reason why reggae and dance all lose its appeal internationally, you know, and them something here. Yeah. Because the moment you have your question, something like the legitimacy of the Grammy winner for the reggae category, you know, I say the music in a trouble. And of course, the tug of war go on between the new, new reggae artists and old reggae artists and new dance hall and old dance hall. That's why the African them just step in and take over space in the pop music, in the pop music, you know. Yeah, man. We mismanage it and it come like we sell it out and we dilute it and we, we so divide it and nobody now concentrate on to make solid music no more. We are watch where next man are over there. So music, you know. Everybody make their music in their own space. We don't know people, we just think. Yeah. Me just think. Bam. Adapt me think. What you think? <laughs> Check in and let your voices be heard. Not your voices, but let your words be read in the comment section. Now remember, subscribe people. Share and tell people about the Oral Tracy Maverick YouTube channel. Still the best and most credible opinion on all the issues on which I speak. <laughs> Maverick out. <laughs>